On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. And that's where everything starts to go wrong. Look, I'm not going to tell you what you should or should not give your true love this holiday season. I am saying that the writer of this song had a true love that had absolutely no idea what she wanted. Now, I'm making the writer of this song a female because in all the sitcoms, men never knew what to give women for birthdays or holidays or anything. So in my mind, the writer of this song is so distraught with the types of gifts that she's been given that she decides to write a song. But because she doesn't want to give away that she's angry, she writes in the happy key of F major. So we start things off with, of all things, a tree and a bird. On the second day, he gives her two turtle doves and another partridge in a pear tree. Listen to these lyrics. Two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. So he gives it again. It's possible that he simply forgot that he gave it to her the first time, but I think it's more likely that when she said, oh, thank you, this is exactly what I wanted with all the sarcasm in the world, he didn't pick up on it, thought she loved it, and gave it to her again. On the third day, he gives her three French hens, two more turtle doves, and yet another partridge in a pear tree. This guy has a lot of money if he's giving her all these birds and trees. In fact, he's importing these chickens all the way from France. On the fourth day, he gives her four calling birds, three more French heads, two more turtle doves, and another partridge in a pear tree. This guy has some weird obsession with birds, or he thinks that she does. Regardless, this is getting kind of out of hand. But then on the fifth day, everything changes because she gets five golden rings. She's so happy she changes the song. She's so ecstatic. She's thinking, oh, all those other gifts, those must be gag gifts. And this, these five golden rings, this is the real gift. And we're done now, right? Right? Wrong, because on the sixth day, the bird giving spree continues and he gives her six geese a laying. It's not very clear what these geese are laying. We assume it's eggs because that's what we know. But if you listen to the song really quickly, a hidden truth comes out. Six geese are laying five golden rings. These are magical ring laying geese. And five rings produce. That's a pretty good deal if you don't think about where the rings came from. So, so far, he's given her six magical ring laying geese, 35 golden rings, five for the fifth day, and five per goose on the sixth day, 12 calling birds, 12 French hens, 10 turtle doves, and six pear trees with partridges in them. I hope she likes pears. But we're not done yet. Oh no, not by a long shot, because on the seventh day, he gets her another copy of all the previous gifts, plus seven swans of a swimming. Again, the song isn't very clear on where they're swimming. I like to think that he sneaks in in the middle of the night and just dumps them in her backyard pond. On the eighth day, things get really weird because along with all the other previous gifts, he gets her actual people. But let's not think about the ethical ramifications of this and focus on the gifts, shall we? Specifically, he gets her eight maids, each with her own dairy cow. Your average dairy cow can yield two liters of milk a day, so with eight, that is 16 liters, or close to four gallons a day. And if history is any indication, that number is only going to increase as he keeps giving her cows. Maybe she can make a nice profit on this side by selling milk along with the pears. Maybe not together, though. On the ninth day, he gets her another copy of all the previous gifts, plus nine ladies dancing. Now, there's at least a decent chance that the writer of this song is a straight woman, considering that she's dating this Yahoo. If that's the case, after a long day of dealing with birds and trees and cows and people, the last thing that she's going to want to be entertained by are multiple female dancers. On the tenth day, gender equality comes in, and he gets her another copy of all the previous gifts, plus ten lords. Not the Christian lord, but the lord as defined by Webster's Dictionary as a man who has dominion over people or property. So thankfully, they can take care of things. Unfortunately, they're also fascinated with leaping and jumping all over the place, so that really only adds to the chaos. On the 11th day, he gets her another copy of all the previous gifts, plus 11 pipers, also known as flute players. Now, a professional flute player 
can cost about $40,000 a year. So we thought this guy had a lot of money, but he is loaded because that is $440,000 alone just on these flute players. On the 12th day, he gets her his final gift, another copy of all the previous gifts, again, plus 12 drummers. If you were to ask any band director in the world, they will tell you that drummers can be noisy. They can be ridiculously noisy. And after a long and exhausting day of dealing with birds and cows and people all over the place, a drummer is not going to help. And 12 will be an absolute nightmare. I think it's safe to say that this couple is no longer together. 12 Days of Gifts may seem like a really great thing, but it depends on what the gifts are. After all, the writer of this song received a total of 12 noisy drummers, 22 flutists at over $800,000 in salaries, 30 lords fascinated with jumping, 36 female dancers, 40 maids with 40 cows yielding over 20 gallons of milk every day, 42 swans swimming in her backyard pond, 42 magical ring laying geese, 845 gold rings and counting, 36 calling birds, 30 French hens, 22 turtle doves, and 12 partridges, each with its own pear tree. Hey, get back here with my ring.